are the 15 leading cause of death in the United States, laying to waste millions. Until the system changes, we have to take personal responsibility for our health, for our family's health. We can't wait until society catches up to the science because it's a matter of life and death. Dr. Kim Williams became the president of the American College of Cardiology last year. He was asked why well, he follows his own advice to follow a plant-based diet. He says, I don't mind dying. Dr. Williams replied, I just don't want it to be my own fault. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and today we're continuing with our How Not To Die series and I am sharing with you one of my most favorite Daily Dozen, which is cruciferous vegetables. Now before I came across the Daily Dozen, I didn't really incorporate cruciferous vegetables as like a daily thing. I was like, oh yeah, I know that kale's good for me and broccoli and um, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. I knew all those things were good for me, but I didn't really understand why. Through research of um, Dr. Greger's book, in the second chapter or the second part of his book where he talks about the Daily Dozen, he gives cruciferous vegetables their own chapter and it is basically because of the importance of the chemical compound sulforaphane. Now this amazing chemical compound is like the holy grail. It prevents and reverses diseases that you are probably going to be baffled by. I actually had to write down a list because there were so many and I couldn't remember them off the top of my head. So are you ready for this? This stuff is life-changing. So sulforaphane prevents DNA damage, metastatic cancers, activates defense against pathogens and pollutants, prevents lymphoma, boosts liver detox and enzymes which target breast cancer cells, reduces risks of prostate, prostate cancer progress, protects brain, your eyesight, reduces nasal allergy, inflammation, it helps to manage type 2 diabetes and treat autism. Now, I don't think if you're going to go to the doctor and you have um, breast cancer or a child with autism or you have type 2 pities that he's going to actually tell you to eat broccoli. You know why? Because you don't make money selling fruits and vegetables. The whole pharmaceutical thing is there to make money. It makes you sick and it causes illness and disease within your body. And then you're left with all of these extra issues as like side effects. Eat your cruciferous vegetables every single day. Now you need around 30 to 80 grams of chopped cruciferous vegetables or you can have a tablespoon of horseradish or around 12 grams of um, Brussels or broccoli sprouts. Now that's such a short, like a small amount of food that you need that you can basically prevent and reverse illness and disease within your body. It's so easy. Just consider cruciferous vegetables like taking your um, your daily multivitamin or tablets because I know some of you may be on tablets at the moment to you know that the doctors may have prescribed or you think that you need this multivitamin blah 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 everything you need is in fruits and veg and I'm a massive advocate of that and the reason why I'm such an advocate because I have been able to heal illness and disease within my own body I cured acne digestive issues I lost 10 kilos I brightened the color of my eyes and I've never felt healthier or happier ever the only thing that I switched was what I was eating. It sounds crazy, huh? So crazy. All right, so in saying that, there's two things that you need to know. This can be a little bit tricky for you. If you're eating your vegetables raw, so you're raw vegan, you don't need to worry about this. But for everyone else who likes to cook their veggies, listen up because there's two tricks that I'm gonna help you with. Now, let's go back to um, this little segment. I'm just going to read it straight out of the book because it's a little bit complicated. It says, the formation of sulforaphane in cruciferous vegetables is like a chemical flare reaction. It requires the mixing of a precursor compound with an enzyme called morosinase, which is inactivated by cooking. Now, because it's inactivated, there's two things you can do. You can chop your cruciferous vegetables and leave them to sit for 40 minutes. In that time, that's when your um, veggies will be able to increase um, their levels of sulforaphane to like optimal to an optimal level. 
So if you don't really want to wait 40 minutes, there's another trick to boost that. And that is sprinkling on some mustard powder. Now mustard powder obviously comes from mustard seeds and mustard seeds actually um, come from mustard greens, which is a cruciferous vegetable. Um, I don't understand enough about how this works, but from what I'm reading, I'm like, okay, well, if Dr. Gregor is saying this, then that's what I'm going to do. I probably will research this further to find out what is it that um, mustard greens have in it that give this effect, um, which is amazing. So you can either eat them raw, chop your veggies and let them sit for 40 minutes or sprinkle some mustard powder onto them after they're cooked, which sounds amazing. So amazing. So if that's not an, enough incentive for you to increase your cruciferous vegetables every single day, then I don't know what is because when I found out about this, I started having cruciferous vegetables every single day. What I tend to do is um, I steam like two heads of broccoli. Um, I do this at the beginning of the week because I'm like the laziest cook ever. <laughs> um, I, yeah, so I steam two heads um, every single week and then I will sprinkle some mustard grains onto it or mustard seeds on no mustard powder onto it um, the other thing that I have is I have a lot of kale I put them in my stir fries in my curry in my um, lentil bolognese um, and I find that's the easiest way I typically don't really eat them raw um, but yeah let me know in the comments below, how do you eat your cruciferous vegetables and have you been aware of um, the sulforaphane chemical compound and how you need to make sure that it's activated because if it's not, then you're not getting the full benefits from it. And this is truly powerful information. Um, and I wish I knew this information when I was a primary school teacher. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I used to be a primary school teacher in England and in Australia and I taught for four years. And I wish that I would reward my children with um, broccoli and give them some hummus or whatever because I, I actually taught a lot of autistic children. And if I knew about this, then oh my goodness. But you know what? We do the very best we can with the knowledge and understanding that we have at the time. Anyways, my loves, I just wanted to share that with you. I actually received a question in the comments last week asking about why is there three different um, categories of vegetables within the Daily Dozen. I will explain the other two further. I will explain all of them in more detail over the coming weeks or months. There's 12 of them. So I've spoken about the importance of nuts. Um, last week, I've spoken about berries. So I will make um, an effort to, to give each of the Daily Dozen their own um, little video because each of them are so important it's so easy think of it as this just steam some broccoli or kale and you're done and you're already getting this amazing health benefits anyways my love I hope this has helped you please share this with your loved ones because I know it's going to help them and the world is going to be an amazing place when we start spreading the news of the sheer importance that fruits, veggies, nuts and seeds and grains can do to your body. I'm a firm believer that eating plants in their whole natural state prevents and reverse illness and disease. It's backed up by scientific evidence. Dr. Michael Greger's book, How Not to Die, has about, oh my gosh, the end section of his sources. He links every, every source. I'm not just making all this up. This is in his book. I can't show you the book because it's on my computer. Let me just flip it. I'm like an ebook kind of person. Oh, you can't really see this overexposed. Let me see if I can flick back to show you. I'll just show you the cover on the screen right now. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Make sure you get in your cruciferous vegetables. It's going to help you on your journey to become the greatest version. I love you so much, and I will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Bye. Make sure you subscribe. The best kept secret in medicine is given the right conditions, the body can heal itself. Nuts are so good for you. They boost your metabolism. They add years onto your life. And I don't know, with that information, it's just like truly amazing. So since reading Dr. Gregor's book, I've only read the second part because I was so excited. I was like, oh, tell me about the Daily Dozen. 
Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, check the link in the description. I've got you covered. There's a series that I've made. Um, I've made five videos so far in the series for How Not to Die, which talks about how to prevent and reverse diseases. I probably should have said that earlier, but I just got so caught up in the whole nut game.